God has this order for restoration, prosperity, and breakthrough. Let's say those three words, restoration, prosperity, and breakthrough. Now, I've got a great book back there called uh, uh, Time to Prosper, and I've got both of the two new books back there that I've written last year. Uh, I'm working on one right now talking about how we have to have perspective, clear perspective, how we gain perspective to go beyond where we are. Now, it is important that we see once we get in God's order, all of a sudden, He will make sure we are blessed. See, don't think it's just dependent upon you. All you're doing is walking in his order of time and finances. What the portion you have, you're stewarding it right. The time portion you have, you're stewarding it right. And that becomes very, very important for us as we move forward. Now, here's, here's key. Because if you don't learn to align the first principles that God set forth, you can never create the prototype for your future. If you just decide you want to do everything your way, own way, if you want to worship the way that you're comfortable worshiping and cut out the way God set an order for us to move forward, you're not going to come into the fullness of blessings. You'll make it to heaven. But I'm not sure what row of houses you're going to be put in. Because <laughs> he's preparing a place for you. But, and then you have to remember, we come back for a thousand years, and you don't want to be not back doing with all the power that God had you here the first time. See, that millennial reign is important for us to keep an eye on because if you start operating in it now, when it comes into its fullness, you'll be operating in it then. Yes, sir. It's really that simple. You don't have to worry about how you're going to be caught up, how you're going to be caught out, and, and I, I'm just bogged down over all this. No, you're to be in faith if he comes today. If I came today, would I find faith? Faith is linked with time and space. If you're out of time, you're not in faith. If you're out of space, you're not in place. I have predetermined the time and place that you're to be in. I couldn't have what I have today by being in Corinth. See, you have to understand if you don't move in time and space, you don't continue to increase your faith realm. Very important for you. So, remember his spirit first brooded over chaos. He planted a garden first he put man in it. Now, man, you know, you've got to remember where we come from. We come from the hummus, the earth hummus. That's what the word means. You, you come from dirt. What makes you different is, uh, different is God blew into you and formed a spirit in you. That's what makes you so different so through the generations he could have a place to dwell in the earth realm. Pentecost is about the visitation into our spirit by his spirit. See, and so every time we recognize it, we're coming into God's timing. He may, you, we have to understand Shabbat. God did it and look back at the last six days. You have to have a time where you stop and reflect on how you got to where you are once a week. 
It's not, it's not a religious thing. And if you don't stop and reflect on how you got there, if you got off track during the week, you're going to get further off track next week. It's really that simple. That's what Shabbat is about. It's the rest of faith. See, we war to enter into faith. Shabbat is a war tool. When you stop and be still, all of a sudden you see what the enemy has done in the past six days and you see how to defeat him in the next six days. Now, Yeshua, Israel first. Listen, people, we don't have a choice. God set that order. That's why he said, I'm going to look down at your nation, and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to move. And if they ain't moving in my order, I'm not going to move with them. Don't think he will. He won't. That's not who God is. He won't just decide, well, they live like Sodom and Gomorrah over there. Uh, That state called Sodom and Gomorrah, they're just prospering and they're living like hell. And I am, I've got, I can't just enter in with them. I've got to show some way I have a difference about them than I do Abraham. That's the purpose of of why God does certain things in the earth realm. He has to reveal that he is different. He has, see, that's all holiness is. Holiness means you are not common to everything around you. Doesn't mean you can't do anything. But you're not common, therefore, if whatever you're doing, wherever you are, You have to have something coming off of you that makes you different. That's holiness. And with that, he says Judah has to go first. We didn't make that choice. And then Issachar has to come. Judah, that prophetic, apostolic structure, tribe, has to go first. First, because they know how to use sound in war. And then I'll align the timing through the word of God with the Issachar prophets. And then Zebulon will go behind and pick up the supply and the provision. When we get in God's order, it's a sure thing. We have now moved past Judah going first, Passover. We've moved past getting in timing. And now when when we come to Pentecost, it's about Zebulun starting to rake in supply. You need to just take your arm and say, I'm ready to do this. 